Hello everyone. We're still on the topic of gradients and today we are going to apply it in painting this path. And um, this was how I did it in the actual class. So first we did the sketch. Uh, of course, we were very mindful of the direction of light. So I have uh, drawn this arrow to represent the light. And of course, we painted the object. So we're going to do that right now. We begin by drawing our guideline, which, just, which is just a vertical line. And then it would be followed with, um, by drawing three uh, horizontal guidelines. Let me show you that now. Here we go. This is our vertical line and we have our three horizontal guidelines. Now, the purpose of the guidelines would be to identify the top, the bottom, and this uh, area here, which looks more like a waistline. So uh, we now have our basic guidelines. And we are going to draw more guidelines, which we would need to erase later on. Let me just do that. Okay. Now we draw something like an S shape. To represent one side of the boss. So once we've done that, we are going to copy that on the other side and create a mirror image of that shape. So here we go. We copied it on the other side. So first is our S shape and then it's mirror image. And now for the rest of the guidelines. So here we go. So we do this oval shaped uh, uh, object on top to be the mouth of the boss, to act as the mouth of the boss. And here, some sort of uh, parallel curved line um, to mimic this, the curvature here to act as the bottom of the bus. So we're almost there. Let me just uh, draw a few more lines and we'll be ready to paint. So I drew this line here, this short straight line going down and a parallel line to it. And then I connected them with a curve parallel to this one. Now, it's time to erase the guidelines. Let me just do that. And I have erased my guidelines. So we can still see some of them because of the pressure. So when you draw your guidelines, please ensure that um, you draw it lightly, just so you can see the guidelines, but not too, too much pressure as to um, dent the paper. Okay. So now we shall start painting. And to paint, uh, we would need a few colors. Okay, I am using yellow ochre and burnt umber. So yellow and brown. And also I'm using black for the edges, just to do the highlight. So this is what I did in my previous class. Uh, this is the sample that I've made. And this is what we're going to paint today. So similar to some other paintings that we've done, we're going to paint this um, piece with water. Okay. So I painted it with water. Again, just enough to wet the paper, but not too much uh, so that it drips. Okay. So it should uh, glisten when you look at it uh, with the light. So. That's how you know that it's wet. And again, it should not be dripping. Now, I will not draw an arrow here, similar to this, but I will be very mindful that the sunlight comes from this area. So it's gonna be similar to the one I'm holding on uh, my left. So I shall start now by painting it with yellow first. So I painted it with yellow and I allowed the yellow watercolor paint to spread a little bit 
However, I kept in mind that this part would be the part facing the light. So it would be lighter. Now I am going to paint it with brown or burnt umber. And I will get back to you in a moment. Here, I painted the edges with brown and let it spread over the yellow paint. And also I painted the inner part of this uh, shape on this light brown so that it can depict that shadow because that uh, point, that part of it is uh, blocking the light. And it's lighter here because it's brighter. And that is because of our source of light. So it's almost finished. We just have to do a little de uh, paint. We just have to paint some detail using black paint. And there we go. I put some highlights using black paint along this side, the bottom bit, and this bit on top. So I now have my vase and my lights coming from this direction so that it's darker on this side. Okay, that's it. That, that, uh, that's it for now. And uh, I'll see you on the next topic.